Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we will see about the Bajaj group of companies when we'll see their story from their humble beginnings to their global dominance till where they are. The world's favorite Indian. All of us would have definitely heard of the uh, Hamara Bajaj campaign back in our days. So this is like, uh, they definitely are one of the trendsetters in the nation. So uh, we would have definitely come across this childhood memories or those uh, commercials, Buland Bharat Ki Buland Tasveer. That has definitely come true in the case of Bajaj Auto. And this video, we'll see how they are revolutionizing their Indian roads and what is riding their wave to success. And we'll see the different group of companies that they hold and how they are performing in the stock market industry. So without further delay, let's get started with the contents right away. So to get started, the first thing which comes to your mind is your uh, Indian biking revolution. So this company is the name definitely which is standing out there. So from their uh, the mega hit bike, the Pulsar, to the launching of this, the world's first CNG motorcycle. So they have launched up the CNG motorcycle with the caption stating ride the wave. So that is like a really trendsetter in the market. They were the ones to come up with the first CNG in the world. So and the Bajaj Auto has been a trial baser in the automotive world. They have definitely gone across like greater heights in this market. And they've definitely got a very thrilling ride and we'll see this uh, origins of this company. So the story began back in 1945. So when this was like just started up a very simple company, they were uh, selling motorcycles uh, importing them so th that was their initial uh, thing they were importing of these motorcycles and they were like selling that so but back in 1960 they had this uh, opportunity they got this vision that this is definitely going to be a bigger industry and they got a uh, license from uh, Piaggio the uh, scooter that comes up till date in uh, uh, the which is a competitor for your uh, Jupiter as well as Activa kind of bikes. So they got the license from Piaggio and introduced their uh, Vespa scooter. So that was, you would have definitely heard of this uh, Vespa. So that Vespa was a very huge thing in the market back in the uh, 80s and 90s. So that was a huge hit for them in the market. So that gave them the chance to start up their own thing. So the Vespa became a very good uh, symbol in the market. So that was their initial uh, seed. That's how they started up that. So after the success of uh, the Piaggio's import and Vespa, they started up with the three-wheeler uh, market. So after uh, following the success in 1971, they ventured into uh, the first ever auto rickshaw. So the auto rickshaw industry, that's when it started. Bajaj was the pioneer behind that in 1971. So they diversified their business portfolio and that started up their biggest hit in the market, which is your uh, Chetak. So all of us would have definitely know this uh, Chetak. So the, that's where the uh, Buland Bharat Ki Buland Tasveer came. So uh, they came up with this scooter uh, thing, which was more than just a vehicle. It became like a lifeline of the Indian families. So that is something which was really affordable and that was like uh, claiming them to success. So even after they uh, ended up their partnership with Vespa in 1977, Bajaj continued to build up with this expertise of uh, um, Chetek scooters and they started up making up uh, their next ventures. Then what they did was they tried to uh, make up uh, strategic alliances or expansions and they tried to enter up with uh, Kawasaki. So the uh, Japanese company in 1985 and they made the world's leading motorcycle uh, brands. So, so they made up a partnership with that and they tried to make up their own uh, uh, bicycle, the uh, motorcycles. And in 2001, Bajaj introduced Pulsar. So that again revolutionized the market because that was the one of the bikes which has got the highest CC in the market back in those days. And that was like more trendy and it was like attracting up all the Gen Z kids and they were all like very much into, into it. And that's when the era of uh, Bajaj Chetak uh, ended up and everyone started up going into the motorcycle world. So this was just another thing like it was very sporty, it has got a very powerful engine. And that the same when there was another bike from Hero Honda as well with uh, CBZ. So that was again a competitor for your uh, Pulsar, they were both in the market. But uh, Pulsar's uh, road presence was something which was not uh, in competence with anyone else in this market. So then there came their road to global success. Then back in again, um, they introduced up in their market. In 2008, their stock market hit a price of 302 reflecting that the company is like growing up in greater values. So in again uh, 2010, Bajaj increased up their stake in their uh, sports bikes, the power bikes, which is your KTM. So that they increased up their stake about 38%. And again in 2012, Bajaj became like uh, 
they are the world's largest selling motorcycle the company even extended its distribution to countries like the far east nations like indonesia and to south asia where this was like very much famous this was like very much used on their uh, country's uh, transportation among different companies and stuff then later the market uh, stagnated and as everyone knows not every business is always will be seeing up an exponential growth there's definitely going to be a sinusoidal wave back in 2017 uh, they had a very big uh, issue their uh, financials were not very good and uh, they were trying to have a uh, um, sluggish sales because kawasaki's were like selling up in high price segment so to cut up the losses bajaj what they did was they made reliable um, reliable and affordable bikes which could be able to reach the masses so and that's when they started up with their first cng motorcycle because that's the era when uh, the uh, bajaj autos dna was like coming into picture as they are the pioneers of your chetek bikes they started up being the pioneers in this uh, cng motorcycle as well and uh, the green era started up bouncing up this became a huge hit in the market and bajaj again reclaimed the throne so from importing their motorcycle from 1950s till launching this 21st century's e motorcycles or the cng motorcycle bajaj has been a really trend setter in the market and as bajaj auto continues uh, their success legacy you would be able to see that the uh, this is again showing up into their other uh, businesses as well and if you happen to see there's a small case which is exclusively been created for them where you'll be able to see the list of bajaj companies you have bajaj finserv bajaj financials and uh, you got bajaj auto there which is one of the prime uh, participation we've got bajaj electrical as well that comes a play into it and uh, recently they're going to launch up uh, a new ipo on their bajaj homing home finance which is going to be uh, coming up next week i've posted another a video on that ipo whether you should subscribe to that or not do check out that video without fail and if you like the uh, inspiring story of uh, bajaj and how they have excelled or how they have become a trend setter in the market do share this video with all your friends and entrepreneurs who are like business owners or who are like starting up their careers and if you like this video do hit this bell icon and i'll catch you up in the next one thanks for watching